Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice exponent problem? We have 4 raised to power x minus 2 raised to power x equals to 1. From here, we can write this as 2 square then raised to power x then minus 2 raised to power x is equals to 1 from here. Then from the law of indices, when we have a raised to power m, then raised to power m is the same thing as a raised to power m, m which is also equals to a raised to power m, then raised to power m. That is, we can interchange this power and this becomes 2 raised to power x, then raised to power 2 minus 2 raised to power x equals to 1. Then from here we have 2 raised to power x common. From here let represent 2 raised to power x with a letter. So let y be equals to 2 raised to power x from here. Then this can be written as y square minus y equals to 1. Then Let's take 1 to this side and this becomes y square minus y minus 1 then equals to 0. Then from here we solve this quadratic equation and we use quadratic formula. From here we have y equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a. Then here, A in this case is 1, B is minus 1, coefficient of Y, then C is a constant which is minus 1. So here we substitute and this becomes Y equals to minus, minus 1 plus or minus square root of minus 1 square minus 4 times 1 times minus 1 then over 2 times 1 then here we have y equals to 1 plus or minus square root of 1 plus 4 over 2 and from here what we have become y equals to 1 plus or minus root 5 over 2 and here we have two values for y here we have y equals to 1 plus root 5 over 2 and uh, we have y equals to 1 minus root 5 over 2 and recall that we represented y as 2 raised to power x then equals to 1 plus root 5 over 2 here. Then on this side also 2 raised to power x equals to 1 minus root 5 over 2. Then here we have this will be a positive number. Also this is positive. So this is accepted here. Then we have positive here. And this side is negative so this side is rejected then on this side now we can take the log on both sides then we have log 2 raised to power x equals to log 1 plus root 5 over 2 then here we apply the power law of logarithm we take x to the back here so we have x log 2 equals to log 1 plus root 5 over 2 then from here we can divide both sides by log 2 so we divide this side by log 2 then log 2 we can switch other here we have x now equals to here now we can apply the law of logarithm what we have fraction 
That is when the log range divide, we can separate it into two logs. That's log A over B. So this same thing as log A minus log B. Then from here, we have log 1 plus root 5. Then minus log 2. Then divided by log 2. Then from here, we can separate this fraction and this is x equals to log 1 plus root 5 over log 2, then minus log 2 over log 2. Log 2 over log 2 here cancel each other and that is 1. So here we have x equals to log 1 plus root 5 over log 2 then minus 1 then when we put this in decimal now we have x equals to here log 1 plus root 5 here give us 0 0.51 and log 2 we have 0 0.301 then minus 1 and uh, when we divide here, we have x equals to 1.6944 minus 1. And we subtract 1 from here, we have x equals to 0 0.6944. Then to check if this satisfies the given problem, to treat x equals to 0 0.6944 into the equation given and then uh, from here we have 4 raised to power x minus 2 raised to power x equals to 1 and we have x equals to 0 0.6944 when we substitute that here so we have 4 raised to power 0 0.6944 then minus 2 raised to power 0 0.6944 is this equals to 1 from here then here this gives us 2.6186 then minus here gives us 1.6182 is this equals to 1 from here? Then here we have this when we subtract, this gives us 1.0004, which is approximately equals to 1. Then we can therefore conclude that the value of x in this problem is approximately equals to 0.6944. And thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps. Subscribe for more exciting videos. Turn in the description bell on. Share this video. Give it a thumbs up. Put your comment in the comment section. See you next class. Bye for now.